First, download file stub. Then, open the package downloader. Click plugins. And click on the Java corruptor package. The package downloader might crash. Just try again if that happens. Now, open the Minecraft launcher and create a new installation. The version does not matter, you can do this with any version of the game. Launch the game once in order to download the game's files. Click on the folder icon. Open the versions folder. Make a copy of the folder with the version number that you downloaded, and rename it with underscore RTC at the end. Rename the files inside to also have underscore RTC at the end. Open the .json file with notepad and copy the text inside of it. Look up JSON formatter on DuckDuckGo and paste the text inside of the box. Click validate JSON. Find the part that says ID and then your version number. Then add underscore RTC at the end. Delete this section starting with downloads. Make sure you do it exactly the same as I do here, otherwise it will not work. Copy that text and paste it back into notepad. Then save the file. Open the .jar file with 7-zip or WinRAR, if you don't have either, install 7-zip. Open the meta underscore inf folder and delete these two files. Now make a copy of the jar file and rename it with underscore 2 at the end. Now open file stub. Drag and drop the file with underscore 2 at the end, or whatever you named it, into this box and wait for everything to load. Click the custom layouts button on the left and click load java corruptor. Change the corruption engine like this. Click corrupt under blast tools. Do not click the corrupt button on the far left. Delete the old underscore rtc jar file, and rename the new one with a long name to the old one's name. Restart the Minecraft launcher. Create a new installation with the RTC version. Launch the corrupted Minecraft profile that you just created. Now, every time you corrupt, remember to replace the old jar file with the new corrupted jar file before you start the game. Have fun!